Cottonfield Park's come a long way. Locals used to lock themselves in at night, there were no shops, and the only people using vast open spaces like this were joy riders. The whole idea behind New Islington is to expand the, the city centre eastwards and to ensure that um, this part of the city fulfils its role within the growing city centre economy. Having green space is really important and it helps to sell the area, it helps to create a uh, focus for the area and indeed it will actually give um, those residents who live on the eastern side of the city centre the opportunity to have some green space on their doorstep. The North West Regional Development Agency has now agreed to spend almost four and a half million pounds pushing through the final changes to complete this park including new bridges, waterways and footpaths. There's a number of big schemes like this around the North West region and we want to see them go through to fruition, we want to keep the momentum going on these projects. Um, the true test of regeneration is you know, how long afterwards, after your investment, are you still feeling the benefits of that investment? And th this benefit, this investment should be around for generations. This work will help reconnect the regenerated neighbourhoods with the wider area. They felt cut off by the nearby retail park for years. As well as green space, there'll be boat moorings and a long promenade for people to walk through to public transport. And that's not all. The Stone Roses' Ian Brown famously said Manchester's got everything except a beach. And while this might not quite compare to the golden mile of Blackpool, it is nonetheless a beach. And who knows, when people living around here start to use this area, one or two of them might decide to come down for a quick paddle. I've got the best job in the world, and it's like playing with a giant set of Le uh, Lego bricks, and you actually taking things that were crap, things that were difficult, things that were ugly, and you work with great architects and turn them into places that are beautiful, great places for people to live, great places for people to work, great places for people to visit and enjoy. All of a sudden, the residents got hold of their own aspirations, started working with us, working with the architects, brought in the vision we're doing, and trying to create what is, what is now and will become increasingly a wonderful place to live. The problems here date back to a badly designed revamp in the 60s which made it a haven for criminals. There are even stories of the police avoiding the area. Now it's home to some far more pleasant inhabitants and by the end of the year it should be open to the public. James Webster, Channel M Today.